Good afternoon. It's good to be back in uh, Beirut. We are obviously at a difficult time and a, uh, a time of urgency. And I'm grateful that I've been able to have meetings with the Lebanese government and with the commander of the Lebanese Armed Forces, commander of the LAF, to discuss how we can arrive at a diplomatic solution for the crisis on the border between Israel and Lebanon. I was in Israel last week, and as you saw, our, the President and Secretary Blinken and myself have said we prefer a diplomatic solution to the current crisis. We had those discussions today, and I firmly believe that the people of Lebanon do not want to see an escalation of the current crisis to further conflict. We need to find a diplomatic solution that will allow for the Lebanese people to return to their homes in South Lebanon and to go back to their normal lives as the people of Israel need to be able to return to their homes in their north to be able to, leave, to live in security, with security. That is the goal. I've had good discussions here with the government, and I'm hopeful that we can continue to work this effort to arrive together, all of us on both sides of the border, with a solution that will allow for all people in Lebanon and Israel to live with guaranteed security and return to a better future, to focus on a better future. Thank Mr. you. Did you, Mr. Hofstein, did you sense a willingness from the Israeli side to negotiate, especially after what Hassan Nasrallah said, that there is no negotiation without stopping the war at Gaza? I think you've all heard what the government in Israel has said, which is that there is a narrow window, but that they prefer a diplomatic solution. I think that is the case. We have, we're living in a crisis moment where we would like to see a diplomatic solution, and I believe that both sides, our preferred diplomatic solution is our job to get one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.